We need to rack up some waterfowl fast. The first of the year is one of the biggest holidays in the world of birding. The totals from the year before are reset, and everyone starts off at zero. This, of course, provides an opportunity for every bird, both rare and common, to be new and exciting for the year. Every first of the year, we celebrate by going out and trying to see as many bird species as possible. In addition to seeing as many birds as possible, we also try to find the rarest species possible as well. On the first day of 2024, that meant paying a visit to a particular pinkish colored finch we had seen a month earlier. Hey everyone, this is Ryan and Derek from Badgerland Birding. It is the first of the year, which means we are doing the first of the year birding challenge. Our first stop today is going to be at Devil's Lake, where we're hoping that the gray crowned rosy finch is still around, along with some other cool species. It's going to be kind of a tough one, I think, today, because it's pretty warm out, which means that the birds are going to be sort of spread around the state and not really congregated where there's open water feeding stations, per se. So we're kind of having a loose idea of what we're going to do, but it's not as regimented as usual because it doesn't feel like there's as many rare species out there. But uh, it's still dark right now, and we're going to see what we can find as our first species of the year. After driving through the dark, we got within range of our first location, gearing up for what was sure to be an epic day. So we're stopping for gas before we get into the parking lot to then do the night bluff hike. I've never done this hike at night, but it's a little more snowy and icy out here. So it's going to be pretty tricky. We're going to make sure we go slow, take our time, and then hopefully we'll be up on top of the bluff at sunrise, get that great crown rosy finch, and then be able to kind of make our way into some other areas. We'll, we'll have a better chance for species diversity, but this kind of, we'll be able to find some specialized species here, hopefully. What do you think the first bird's going to be? Mm, well, we're going to try for some owls. So it'd be nice if like a saw wet owl was our first bird of the year. Um, but I think it'll probably be an American crow or a junco. We made it to the Devil's Lake parking lot and met up with our friends, Rob and Eric, as well as Colin, a new character in the Badgerland birding cinematic universe. After saying our happy new years to each other, we started listening for owls. On this day, we actually had some luck, picking up our first birds before it was even light out. So we just had like the weirdest combination of owl calls. Yeah, we had saw wet followed by barred owl to finish it off in one sequence, which was super funny and weird. Yep. Yeah, it was just a really weird sequence of things. Yeah, so I think we're going to head up the bluff now and uh, see how that goes, but it seems pretty icy out, so this could be kind of treacherous. The combination of snow, ice, steep inclines, and darkness made for a dangerous hike up the trail to the top of the bluff, but eventually we made it there and waited for the sun to come up, listening in the process and picking up more birds. Heard only American goldfinch, white-breasted nuthatch, crow was popping off. In addition to these species, we also added a few other birds that we actually saw. Later on, we went back to finding more herd-only species, as the light was still not yet optimal for visuals. So here we had calling pileated woodpecker flyover pine siskin, and it sounded like maybe some kind of wren calling from further down, but we couldn't really confirm. So we're gonna try to listen for that when we're down. We've seen a couple birds flying that looked like they're probably Townsend solitaires, but haven't got enough to confirm. Um, a lot of herd-only kind of stuff. Hopefully that rosy finch will pop out. We're kind of just walking the trail. It's a lot snowier than it was last time we were here, but hopefully it's still hanging around. We set our sights on finding our target bird, the gray crowned rosy finch. Along the way, we got nice looks at our first species that would be marked as rare for the day. Townsend solitaire up in that tree right there. So that's one target bird. Oop, just took off actually. Um, but one target bird down, now we need to try and find the finch and maybe a golden eagle. A short while later, we heard a northern flicker, and Derek spotted the bird we were hoping to see. 
Dude, nice spot. We're undoubtedly the first people to see this bird this year. That's true. Seeing our biggest target for the day, we made the harrowing journey back down the icy trail. Got some of our target birds on Devil's Lake, and we got a couple surprises too. The northern flicker that we heard, the pine siskins. So that was a pretty good stop so far. We're gonna see if we can find a golden eagle, and then after that, we're gonna try some different places. So starting out strong so far, I'd say. Before leaving Devil's Lake, we had one more rare species to get. Oh, got the eagle. It was kind of the same thing. Just wait a couple minutes and it pops out. It's kind so of funny because it have... would have been tough to scan for that if we didn't get here when it was soaring. Oh, definitely. But now we have golden eagle and no bald eagle. <laughs> so well, it right. counts as one species, but one feels like so much better. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to say better. It feels uh... Some birds hold more weight. <laughs> it feels... <laughs> it's slightly like bigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's true. Got three of our rarities for the day, so we're gonna head a little further south, see what else we can pick up, hopefully kind of get some of those more common things that we don't have yet. As we left Devil's Lake, we picked up a few species on the road before getting to our next location. On the way over in front of a house, we actually had a lot of the common species, like we had cardinal, junco, house sparrow, uh, some woodpeckers, then we had morning doves on the power lines. Now we're at the Prairie du Sac Dam. There's mallards, red-tailed hawk, bald eagle, ring-billed gulls. So just kind of scanning this open water, but we're kind of filling in some of those easy-to-get species that we hadn't had yet. Mixed in with the more common species was a tough to pick out gull. Got a more dainty bill. Okay. The one to the right of the light. Okay. Iceland? Hoping to continue our momentum, we headed to the Madison area. The open water in this part of the state is attractive to many different overwintering and out of season birds. Among them were a few new species, including house finch, American tree sparrow, red-bellied woodpecker, and a dapper-looking fox sparrow. While we did pick up a few new species, it proved to take more time than we were hoping. At that last stop, we picked up four new birds for the day, which, considering how long it was, we probably would have liked to have gotten more out of it. But now we're heading to some place where we're hopefully going to pick up some waterfowl. That's an area we can still do a lot in terms of getting new species. I believe we're at 33 right now. I could be wrong because sometimes you forget stuff uh, that you've seen or it accidentally adds something to the list twice. But if that's the case, we're still going to need a significant number of species to get to that 50 that we're always aiming for. Yeah, it's true. I feel like we always have one stop that's kind of slower than we expect, and I'm, I'm hoping that was the only one. Um, but yeah, we need to rack up some waterfowl fast. Fortunately for us, our next destination would prove to be exactly what we needed. This looks good so far. We got swans right away. One species added to the list. We readied our scopes and cameras and quickly found a plethora of waterfowl. Solid stop right there. We got a bunch of different duck species and we also got tundra swans. So that one saved us a lot of time by getting a bunch of those waterfowl. There's still a few more we're going to try and get at our next spot, but that was a really good spot for us for sure. Next, we went to another park with lake access, getting extremely distant views of some new species. Catching sight of a flyby merlin and eventually tracking down an adorable owl that was known to roost in the area. Eastern Screech Owl. Let's go. Was it worth it? Yeah, it's always worth it to see an owl, especially an adorable one like that, just chilling. It's kind of fatter than I thought it would be. Fluffy, it's fluffy. 
pretty successful stop here. We got the Eastern Screech Owl with actual views, which was cool. We got white winged scoters, long tailed ducks, and a merlin. So a lot of good stuff here at uh, the park. While stopping for a brief food break, we regrouped and checked out eBird reports to see where to go next. We were eventually able to find a spot that stood out to us. So we're going to backtrack a little bit because some reports came in at a place a little further north of one of the spots we already were with some species that if we saw all of them, we'd definitely eclipse our total. So we're going to backtrack a little bit, but hopefully it'll be worth it. This destination had many different spring birds listed, and it almost immediately lived up to its billing when a flock of American robins flew overhead. We walked on the trail, hoping to get some of these species to push us over 50 for the day. With Rob leading the charge on spotting more waterfowl, we quickly tallied numerous new species for the day. In addition to these species, another regional rarity was present, the red-necked grebe. This place has been incredible so far. Two redneck grebes. After getting nice looks at the waterfowl, we also found a few other birds, including a golden crowned kinglet and a brown creeper. Mid to picnic point had a brown creeper, which was a nice reward for getting to the end, but this is absolutely beautiful. And there's a little fire that's going. So it's kind of like a, an extra little reward. You can come out here and sit by the fire if you want. Picked up some good birds. I think we're gonna start heading back and maybe we'll be able to hit one more place before it gets too dark. On the way out, we got some up-close views of a bird that wasn't new for the day, but is always fun to see. Got the pileated woodpecker experience. Yeah, that was cool. You don't get to see them that close too often. Another successful stop, and that one got a lot of the things that were still missing from our list. And time is starting to wind down. We definitely got over 50 now, which is really good for the day. But we're going to try and find some white crown sparrows of this community garden, and I think that'll probably take us down to when it gets dark out. So overall, it was definitely a solid birding day, and I think we did eclipse our total from last year, although it will require us to tally it up and actually see. Sadly, the community garden didn't yield any new species. With the sun starting to go down, we called it a day and said goodbye to the crew. I think we did awesome. It was a lot of fun. My back hurts, <laughs> but it was well earned because we got, what, 50 some species? Over 50, yeah. Over 50, rosy finch, solitaire, redneck greaves, a lot of stuff we don't normally see, so definitely a one to remember for sure. What do you guys think? Good day. That was fun. Good day. Solid birds. Before officially calling it quits, we did get one last bird species for the first of the year 2024. We just picked up some last second wild turkeys as we kind of we kind of decided that was gonna be the day and then we got one more so maybe we can pick up a couple other things but that's cool bonus bird. We ended the day with a total of 56 species, our second best total ever on the first of the year. Additionally, we picked up a number of rare birds and had a great time birding together with our group. The first of the year is always a fun time for birding and exploring, and we'll have to wait until 2025 to see if we can eclipse our total from this year. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Ooh, good catch. You okay? Oh, good catch. <laughs>